Alright guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. We're going to be going on to Chapter 6, the next one, which is... Oh, it's still continuing on to Lost Air. Alright, we had to go through this first. Then we'll go on to the next Three chapter. Three years passed. Day in mustered all of its formidable military might and cut a bloody swath through neighboring Crimea in a sudden invasion. Day in was defeated, however, and the dreams of its ruler, Mad King Ashnard, died with him. Ashnard's son, Peleus, possesses a gentle sincerity that is a bright counterpoint to his late father's violence and duplicity. Ill-suited though he seems for these troubled times, his presence is a welcome sight to Micaiah's eyes. Peleus, declared rightful heir to the throne, finds his name becoming a rallying cry for Dayan. At his side is the only person he believes can lead his liberation army, the Silver-Haired Maiden. There we go. Now we're on to the next chapter. Six. Rise, raise the standard. Hmm. Looks like we're in another state of the hand here. Assembling is forbidden. All violators will be punished immediately. Assembling? We were just talking around the well. Silence! No excuses! Oh, dude. Uh, yeah. Man. Can I really have just seen that? Lady Fiona, the self-proclaimed Liberation Army is on the march. Marado's army has been ordered to deploy with us. Understood, General. We will prepare immediately, but I need to address your soldiers' conduct. I knew war is afoot. You never answered Ashnar's call to arms in the last one. You have a reputation for ruling wisely. Don't endanger your people by hurling ugly accusations at my soldiers. I trust they needn't worry that you'll fail to answer the Empire's call. I will not lie to you. My people are proud citizens of Dehan, and some agree with these so-called liberators. However, I will not lead my people into danger over ridiculous rumors of some unknown orphan prince. I'm glad to hear it. I need a volunteer. Follow that woman's every move. I trust her no farther than I can throw her. Hmm. Now we have it back at our liberation camp. Well, well, the rumors that my operatives started have spread like wildfire through all of Dayan. Like King Ashnard's orphan surfaces, silver-haired maiden at Prince Pelius' side. Now that we have the people's attention, we snag their hearts. We'll just extol the savior, fan the rebellion, go to battle, and conquer the enemy in a blaze of glory. Do we have sufficient forces to arouse said rebellion and achieve victory? You let me worry about that. This highly sophisticated strategizing is beyond your young minds. Worry not, my prince. After painstaking investigation, I've determined the exact locations to target. Gather around, all of you. Here are my plans for our next strike. It reminds me of Kefka for some reason. If the Liberation Army attacks any of these places, we are assured of an absolute victory. Masterful as always, Suka. It's good to know I can count on you. First, we'll target Talrega. It borders the frontier. Binion's hold is shaky. And resentment runs high. No, Talrega's no good. That's where Jill's from, by the way. But, what was that? On what grounds are my decisions being questioned by this this child? The timing is wrong. Because of the rains, we won't be able to advance well, let alone fight. It's true. I'm from Talrega, and I remember well the landslides and floods that come every spring. The mountain road leading to that particular work camp is notoriously dangerous. What? Impossible. My, my strategy is flawless. Perfect even. I never. Micah, where do you think we should attack? Turin. We'll have better luck in Turin. 
to run two lives in the mountains, but in the arid northern region where the weather is predictable. Micah, you're amazing. I count my blessings to have you as Vice General. You give me hope. Lady Micah, few outsiders know of the landslides in Talraga. Have you been there before? Micah is a powerful seer. We in the Dawn Brigade owe our lives and our freedom in her, to her abilities. Oh, goodness, it's echo. What is it? She can foresee battle outcomes? Magnificent! Why didn't anybody tell me of this? This only makes the maiden that much more appealing. And let us just be honest here. My foresight is decreeing her vice general was wondrous. Nay, genius! Excellent. Well then, yes. I'll bow to the maiden's vision. Let's leave the camp and make for Terran. Okay then. Yeah, I think he's a little crazy. Alright, let's go to our info. Outside the village. Yes, that's what I heard. What was that light? And that silver... Could she Could she be the silver-haired maiden? Hmm? Oh, it's you. It is you. Oh, oh my. You're fighting with King Ashnar's son to free Dayan, aren't you? Oh, we've heard so much about you. Oh, what a blessing. What a blessing. We're all waiting. We're waiting for the day you free us from those filthy Banyan pigs. Please, take this. It's not much, but people from all over the village pitched in. Oh no, I couldn't possibly. Thank you, we appreciate your kindness. Hmm. We're all counting on you. Please, free us. Looks like Azuka's propaganda is working fast. Hmm. You didn't want me to take the money, did you? No, it's not that, it's just... Oh, never mind. Oh, come on, what did I do this time? You're not going to say. Great, in that case, let's get out of here and go find the others. Thousand gold. Kurth! See what he has to say. So, you're staying then? I appreciate your concern, however, I... You can't leave Prince Pelly's side. Is that not so? That's right. Then take this, at least. Ascending stone? Do you remember how to use one? Of course I remember how to use one. But it's such a precious gift. Are you sure about this? Thank you, Chris. Chris, where are you? I must go now. Please, remain safe. You as well. Kurt? Maika, how nice to see you. Kurt, I'm leaving for Terran. I know this is sudden. To tell the truth, I'm surprised too. See, you are off to perform your first duties as a general to this Liberation Army. Yes. I abhor violence. I do not think you should fight. Kurt, I'm not fighting because I... I know. I know you wish there were another way. And I understand that what that you feel this is what you must do to save your country. Here, take this. What is it? May it serve to protect you, Mike. I must leave you now. I'm going home to my own country. What? So suddenly? I'm sorry, Mike. Being so close to battle frightens me to tell the truth. Thank you for rescuing me, and thank you for the short time we spent together. I enjoyed it immensely. Will I ever see you again? Who knows? Why don't we... Yes. Let's just leave it up to the goddess. I suppose we must. And he gave us renewal, which is a skill you can uh, use. I don't know who to put it on. I think it restores 10% of total HP each turn. It's a decent skill. I just like to save them up. <laughs> Alright, so... Um... I think we should award our bonus XP's. I think we should probably get Laura up there. Yeah, I like that. Actually, you know what we usually should do? Is we should usually save our bonus experience for when they get higher up in levels, because when you use bonus experience to level up, you will automatically only get three skills. Now, if you n level up normally, there's a chance of getting more, but also each... when you level up using... So when you... Uh, let me see if I can explain this properly. Okay. So when you're at almost 
when you've maxed out the skills that you know that you cause each character has a skill but they there's a better chance that they'll get it when they level up so if you level up those to the max they'll max out those skills before they reach level cap now the chance of them getting the lesser skills when they level up is not as good as if you would get them if you level them up using bonus experience because you, like I said you automatically get three skills no matter the chance of how they would normally get it when they level up I hope that makes sense, it makes sense to me so I'm going to save those the bonus experience for later when they get closer to the level cap. Um, now, should I? What do they have at the bonus? Oops, it's not at the shop. Always a good idea to check out. Uh, not really anything that great. I'm not gonna spend money. Okay. Usually, if there's skills or items that level up your um, stats, I try to go for those above weapons, but that's just me. Um, support? Can I support anybody? Um, these two. Nope, can't do that. What about Aaron and Laura? Nope, can't get those guys up yet either. Okay. So yeah, I think that's it. We pretty much got um those out of our inventory, and I think everybody is good to go. Yeah. So let's save the game, and yeah, we get a few minutes. We can continue on. Leave our base. A small troop approaches from the east. It appears to be the Dehan Liberation Army. Blissfully ignorant of the trap that awaits them. I pity them, really. How does the first platoon assume their battle positions? Shall we deploy two? Kind of you to offer, Lady Fiona, but the first platoon will suffice here. This is really none of Marado's business. Marado. I see. In that case, we'll use this opportunity to observe the Empire's army at work. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, reposition. Actually, I should choose. Who do I want to throw in here? Oh, we get everybody. Alright then. Um. Probably don't want you, Aaron. Don't want you, Meg. Right there. Um. Sure. Save that. Battle formation, just in case I die. And um. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Now there are hidden items on this map. I have no idea where they are, but I will try to find as many as I can. So, Jill. Yes, I know. Um, like, I think there's one, like, up here, and then around here, and here. I just hope I can find them. Okay, Edward. Go here, take this guy out. Yeah, he'll be able to kill him, too. Nice. Windage. I think I might go for the uh, turn off the battle animation. Attack animations off. Okay, this guy up here. Mm -hmm. Here you go there. Back up. Edward, um, Laura, you need to get up there.
when you got this many people deployed on, on a chapter, it's, it takes a while to move them all. Alright, they're closing in. Come on. Give me your best shot. Sport! Nice. Yeah, I've got Pegasus Knights. Okay, um... How do you get in there? Not sure if that was such a good idea. I probably won't bring you over here, actually. You take out. Oh, we can almost do it. Oh man. Okay, fine. He's gonna take 12 damage. Oh, but he missed. That's what battle looks like without the animations on. Mike, uh, do I want you to take out this guy? I think I will let you. Get you. Use your. Just like that. Yes, I'll take out this guy. Now it's a good idea to use Saw to try and find those hidden items. I don't worry about these guys up here. I probably want to get Leonardo up here for that Pegasus Knight. Okay, Volg, you stay there. They're closing in! Um, no, yes, I know what bonus damage is. Alright, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Next time, we will continue on with this chapter. So, let's be safe, Frosty. See you next time. Bye bye <laughs>